Hello YouTube, what is going on? This is Epic Big Bird and I am back with some more Rome 2 Total War Online commentary action to do for you today. This battle is a 2v2 large funds battle. I have chosen the Lusitani, the Lusitani, excuse me guys if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, just picked up these factions, um, so I'm a little new to them all. My opponent, or my ally, has brought in a Roman army. I will be facing off against a Roman army. And uh, we also have a Macedonian opponent as well who's facing off against my Roman ally. So um, today for the Lusitani, I have brought in three, or excuse me, six veteran shield warriors. My Lusitani noble general. I have four Balearic slingers, three Lusitani spearmen, and three Iberian cavalry. Now, my Roman opponent who is somewhat masked right now. We will we will save him for later. Um, my uh, ally has brought in, looks like, uh, three Praetorian Guard, uh, Saki Equites, excuse me, four Praetorian Guard, a Saki Equites, a Hastati, a Principe, a Gladiator here, uh, looks like three Auxiliary Syrian Archers, two gladiators, okay, a Praetorian Cav, a Legionary Cav, and his Legatus General. Excuse me, General and Bodyguard. Uh, he will be facing off against uh, two Light Peltists, Thessalian and a Citizen Cav, Thessalian and a Citizen Cav. Um, looks like four Thorax Pikes, uh, flanked by two Thorax Swordsmen. He has two Mercenary Rhodians, two Mercenary Cretans, as well as a Royal Peltist General. So let's, um, I will go over my Roman opponent real quick, my Roman al, excuse me, my Roman opponent's build real quick, but right now I want to talk about what's going on right here. Um, I brought in the Iberian Cav, which are going to be faster cavalry than his Auxiliary Cav. So what I'm really trying to do here, um, his Auxiliary Cav will absolutely annihilate my Iberian Cav in a one-on-one -on -one head, um, straight up fight. So I'm, I'm trying to bait these cavalry, um, closer to my own lines, hopefully where my Lusitani Spearmen can get a hold of him. And uh, really what I'm trying to do with these uh, Iberian Cav is outmaneuver my opponent, get behind his lines, possibly strike at his Syrian archers. Um, so that's the plan. And we will go over my Roman opponent's build right now. He has brought in with him four auxiliary cavalry on his uh, left flank right now. He has one, two, three, four, five. So he has six legionary cohorts and one armored legionnaire here, four auxiliary Syrian archers, two auxiliary infantry on his flank, and his legatus general. So we are going to go into play mode now. You can see here I managed to sneak squeak these Iberian cav behind his line. He's going to um, go ahead and split off one of his auxiliary cav here to try and deal with them. I'm going to pull them out of the forest, give him a little bit of breathing room, and just kind of leave them back there for him to think about. Um, well, in, in the meantime, you can see he pulls away one of his auxiliary cav. I'm going to go ahead and move my Lusitani Spearman to my flank. And he's going to go ahead and open up fire on them, which is probably a smart decision. Um, and again, this is my first time ever losing, using some of the uh, Lusitani Spearmen or really any of the um, DLC uh, units other than the uh, Nomadic factions that they released. Um, I'm not sure if it's still going on, I believe it is, but Steam is doing a deal right now on about 66% off on most of the DLC for Rome 2, so uh, if you are really into this game and you're trying to get the DLC, now would be a great time to buy it. Just throwing that out there. Um, I sure did, and I'm loving these uh, DLC factions right now. Can't get enough of them. So here again, right, I'm trying to uh, bait my opponent into an engagement here. You can see he brought over an auxiliary infantry to, to deal with my um, spears, or excuse me, my Iberian cap. Really, it's not necessary. He probably brought him over to try and answer my Lusitani spearmen. You can see here my Iberian cap coming back. Um, they got ran away by his auxiliary cap. I'm okay with this. Like I said, my Iberian cap are going to have no problem running away from his auxiliary cap. And here, look at this. So we've managed to isolate one of his auxiliary cap. We're going to go ahead and take a charge. We're also going to charge his infantry because we need to make sure we get charges off of on, on his infantry. I'm going to go into slow motion here, guys. 
So what I did here, what you can see here, is I created a screen with my spearmen against his own cavalry and these spearmen here. And then I'm going to shoot the gap with my Iberian cav. And I'm going to go ahead and start running hammer and anvil strikes on these uh, legionaries right away. Because I, I'm quite certain that a legionary cohort should win against um, veteran shield warriors. Uh, their armor is um, 75, base morale is 70 right now. But... Um, they are they are being outmatched by my it looks like probably the melee defense on my veteran shield warriors and then like I said went ahead and ran those hammer and anvil strikes right away in the beginning of the match or in the beginning of the infantry engagement and that's gonna allow my right wing to open up um, so you can see here my opponent had to maneuver his auxiliary cav around my spearman here I get an auxiliary cav tied up with his spearman this is a good move he's threatening my Blarix, which are a pretty expensive unit um, and I'm having a hard time getting my Lusitani spears in a position to hold them off. But um, as you can see here, my veteran shield warrior is doing very, very well against his legionary cohort. I'm going to go back into play mode. See, he uh, charges my Balearic slingers. And uh, there he's going to try and run a hammer and anvil strike, which is a pretty good hammer and anvil strike. And my, my opponent's going to do a good job of just, you know, continuing to run through my, my Balearic slingers. I'm trying to focus fire them down right now, pulling some of my open units back into the fight uh, excuse me some of my veteran shield warriors I'm gonna bring them down to try and answer his auxiliary cav here um, but right here you can see he's throwing in his spear units into the fray of what's left of the infantry engagement and the infantry engagements turning into a pretty bloody jumble right now um, here his auxiliary cav again pulling through my Lusitani spearmen taking heavy casualties due to the current state of the game by the uh, via the pull through method it's just not going to bode well for his ca uh, cavalry, especially going through Lusitani Spearmen. So luckily for me, I do manage to ra wrap up his Auxiliary Cav, but they do do quite a decent amount of damage to my um, Balearic Slingers, basically routing them from the field. So that's not good for me. I do manage to save one, which, which is at about half strength, but he still has four Auxiliary Syrians with uh, all firing, it looks like. Uh, there he just pops Quick Reload. Um, and this this right now isn't looking too good for me here. He commits his general uh, Honestly, I probably would have held off there because you can see my general's dead He got uh, killed in this big scruffle in the middle, but it looks like my um, Lusitani units are gonna be able to overwhelm these legionary cohorts now. It's simply a matter of whether or not um, I can get close enough I can close the distance between him and his auxiliary Syrians because really what my opponent can do is simply kite away and kite away from my infantry and uh, delay the engagement and hope that his um, his uh, Macedonian ally can uh, win against Rome and right now it's looking like he he stands a pretty good chance of winning so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna spread my men as thin as I can I'm gonna get my Balearics firing um, and I'm gonna go ahead and charge his infantry or his uh, his archers excuse me um, he must have had his men off skirmish and I managed to close the distance between all of them and I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get them tied into melee and that's gonna end his uh, Syrian archers I'm not sure if this is a micro error or if he just decided to leave them there because he felt the battle was over um, but it's definitely a mistake um, like I said I would have definitely kited back away from these infantry towards my, the protection of my ally tried to provide some support to him um, but there we do manage to wrap up the rest of his infantry and uh, now what I'm going to do is pull my, my infantry into these woods and rest them because I did have to pop um, Frenzy on most of my infantry to uh, keep them killing those Romans. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at over here what's going down. Um, it looks like the Macedonian opponent has one set of pretty healthy Thorax Pikes, one really depleted. He's got a couple skirmishers that look like they're out of ammo. Citizen Cav are getting into the fray with these Praetorian Guard. Um, that, so that's going to be a really, really tough fight for these guys with the Praetorian Guard here. But my um, the Macedonian opponent still has these Light Peltists, which are doing a lot of work against these Praetorian Guard in the back. However, um, these Syrian Archers from my uh, Roman ally are going to make short work of them. Probably due to the morale bl blows that's happening right now. Um... And here uh, we can see uh, the Macedonian general goes down 
and when that happens that's pretty much going to cause that's going to pretty much cause a route here you can see he's trying to reform his pikes his last set of pikes but these Praetorian Guard are going to beast it out in this fight. And uh, eventually Macedon's going to rout due to army losses here. Um, but you can see he's pulling out. He's going to try and uh, make the best of his engagements here. But you can see his men are already wavering. Um, and there you see they rout due to army losses like I said. So that was a really, really great close battle. I really enjoyed it. I think it was really tactical. Like I said, using those Iberian Cav... Um, in conjunction with my spearmen uh, to get around my Roman uh, Roman flank was pretty pivotal I feel like in the battle um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the battle we'll go to replay stats uh, you can see my Iberian Cav actually not doing too well but I do believe it was the morale effect on my Roman opponent that uh, really did him in there my veteran shield warriors doing quite well against the legionary cohorts honestly um, all pulling in pretty decent numbers uh, here these two breaking a hundred kills um, my spearman also getting pretty decent number of kills on his cavalry I believe for the most part um, my opponent did do a great job of neutralizing my Balearic slingers with his own cav there um, here 68 and 56 doing really well oh excuse me this is uh, the, there we go here so 71 and 40 and 30 isn't bad either um, but his um, Syrian archers here doing really really well uh, he manages to keep them alive into the late game um, so some of you I'd like to talk about why I brought the Iberian Cav in this fight some of you might be wondering why I chose that over the um, slightly more powerful um, heavy horse I believe it is or whatever it is that the Lusitani have um, but the Iberian Cav only comes with about I, th I believe 15 or 30 armor as opposed to the other cab which has um, 50 I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go into a quick battle so we can find out for sure um, but the Iberian cab what what makes the difference here in the fight is that the Iberian cab here they are Lusitani so this Scutari I cab are 42 melee attack 32 weapon damage they have a bonus versus infantry of 10, a charge bonus of 37, and they come with 45 armor. Now the Iberian Cav on the other hand comes with a melee attack of 50, weapon damage of 39, bonus versus infantry of 15, the charge bonus of 31, a melee defense of 40, and armor of only 15. So really what that means is they're going to die really quickly, they're going to be susceptible to missile fire, they're not going to be good in a cavalry engagement um, for very long. But they are going to be very, very punishing against infantry um, with this bonus first infantry. You can see um, stacked up against the 50, that's going to put them up to 65 melee attack, which is pretty punishing, especially for a, a cavalry unit that's only 500 talents. So that was my idea going into the battle, using my um, spearmen to screen out his cavalry and get my Iberian cav into the rear of his own army as soon as I could. I feel it paid off for me in that battle. Um, and I really enjoyed that battle. So I hope you guys learned something tactical. Hope you enjoyed the battle. This has been Epic Big Bird, signing off.